Hi, everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at a very rare book on chemistry. And this is a very unique book in the way that it is written. It's also a very unique book because it was published by Mir Publishers Moscow. Mir Publishers uh, was, I don't believe they still exist, a publishing company in the Soviet Union. And what they would do is they would, they would take books, um, science books and math books typically, that were written by prominent Russian scientists. They would translate them to other languages and then they would, oh, it smells, this one, oh, it's got a funny smell. We'll talk about that later. Um, they would translate them to other languages. So like English, Spanish, there's a lot of um, Latin American countries, countries where the prominent language is Spanish where the books by Mir Publishers are used. I know this because I have um, another YouTube channel that's entirely in Spanish, right? So, uh, and a lot of uh, my subscribers uh, have, have told me that they use uh, books from, from your Publishers. So it's kind of interesting, so it's kind of unique for that reason. And that's why I wanted to make this video. Um, and it's in my collection, right? I'm a collector of math books and many, many other things. I'm a huge collector. This is uh, Chemistry, Definition, Notions, Terminology. And it's by A.I. Busev and I.P. Efimov. It's a hardcover. Let's, let's just read the back first. Let's just go through it slowly. And I'm just going to go through the book and cover as much as I can because I feel like a book like this, I don't know, this is, this is a pretty a big deal. Writing a book like this takes a lot of effort. An excellent up-to-date guide to the terminology of chemistry and the allied sciences are written in the simplest language consistent with accuracy and fullness. The book contains the most important information pertaining to inorganic, organic, and analytical chemistry. Wow. The reader will also find reliable definitions and clear explanations of the basic terms used in radiochemistry, polymer science, chemistry of scattered elements, biochemistry, and geochemistry. Wow. A compact, authoritative reference book indispensable for secondary school pupils interested in chemistry and related disciplines. So I, I am, to me, this is incredible. Uh, I don't know about everyone else. Look at this. And this looks like a signature, but really it looks like graffiti. Like someone just took a pen, they're like, ah. <laughs> just, uh, so here's uh, Mendeleev's Periodic Table of the Elements. Cool. So there we have that. Chemistry, definitions, notions, and terminology. Beautiful. A.I. Busev, I.P. Efimov, Mir Publishers, Moscow. This is. Uh, the, the, in, the, the the contents of this book are what's really interesting, and we'll get there. Um, it's really cool. It's got this book has a lot of knowledge, and you can kind of just like sit down and learn a little bit at a time. Um, but it does help to have like an actual chemistry book uh, as well. Translated from uh, the Russian by V. A. Sipachev. So this was first published in '84, revised from the '81 Russian edition, and my copy is from '87. Um, Printed in the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Let's, let's read the preface together. So this is the preface. It says, in studying chemistry and in reading popular scientific literature, you sometimes come across passages whose meaning escapes you. This book is intended for secondary school students who wish to develop a deeper understanding of various chemical processes and natural phenomena. Here you will find accurate definitions and explanations of the most important terms used in general, in organic, organic, analytical chemistry, and in chemical engineering. Most entries contain etymologies, I hope I said that correctly, uh, if I didn't, please correct me, which allow tracing the meaning of a term to its origin in ordinary language. It's, English is not my first language, and sometimes I, I, I say things and I say them wrong. Chemical compounds are, as a rule, given under their common names, with most important synonyms in parentheses. Names approved by the International Union of Chemistry are distinguished by the symbol star. Cool. Um, all right, and this is where it gets interesting. Just so gonna turn the page here. To the memory of Professor Vadim N. Burkovsky. It's very, very um, sad, right? I mean, that means he has uh, passed. What's this, absorber? An apparatus for the absorption of gases and for the separation of gas mixtures into the constituent parts by dissolving one or several components in a liquid called absorbent. An absorber is a column containing plates or other packing. A gas is fed in at its bottom part and removed at the top. 
The liquid is introduced at the top and removed at the bottom. Used in the chemical, petroleum, and other industries. Wow. Is that still used today? If anyone knows, you know, leave a comment. I, I don't know, right? So you, you learn by reading. That's one of the things um, I like about reading. And a lot of people um, like to read fiction. And I personally, you know, it, it's, it's not something I've gotten into yet. You know, I, I keep telling myself I'm going to start reading some Stephen King. Um, I have read fiction in the past. That's, that's one of the ways I learned to speak English, uh, was by doing a lot of reading and playing a lot of video games, uh, role-playing games, RPGs and stuff. But uh, I think reading, even books like this, you can get a book like this. If you're a chemistry major, this book is, is a no-brainer uh, in my view. It's, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. Oh, carbon dioxide. So I think most people know what that is. That's pretty cool. Carbon disulfide. So the whole book is pretty much laid out like this. It's alphabetical, you can see, and it's just full of knowledge, right? Full, it's, like a, it's like a dictionary, pretty much, for chemistry. It's beautiful. Cholesterol. Chromate. Makes me, for some reason, I thought of Chrono Trigger. It's an old, old Super Nintendo game. Leave a comment if you know about that. <laughs> so, yeah, be funny if someone actually left a comment. Uh, a coating of metals, it says, chrome plating, a coating of metals and various articles of chromium to prevent corrosion. Cool. It says on the back, oh, here's a signature again, and it says 90, 7690, so 1990, wow, it's, it's a hard to read. You wonder where the people are. Um, I've actually, I have some books, so i got to give it a whiff here. I'm going to take a sip of coffee while I just mention this. Not coffee, uh, tea. <clears throat> this is green tea. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Oh, that tea is fantastic. Fantastic tea. Wonderful tea. Wonderful tea. Yeah, very good. I should mention this before I forget. Um, this this uh, this cup, you can get it uh, here on the channel. If you look at any of my videos, it's like part of my merch, I guess. Um, most people don't buy my merch. I'm not, I don't have like great merch. Uh, but this is uh, an old piece of merch that's one of my first things I sold a long time ago. And so I just went and I made sure that it's there. So it should be there. Uh, when I post this video, just look on the bottom and you should see it. Uh, it's kind of expensive. <laughs> that's the truth. Um, I know because I bought it. I actually bought this even though it's my cup. Uh, but uh, since I made like a few dollars from it, I got like a small discount. But it's okay. I, I forgot I had it. And then I had a, um, some, someone was over here and they were like, they needed a cup and they were drinking coffee out of this. And I'm like, oh. I forgot I had that cup, and I'm like, that's really cool. It's a pretty cool cup, so I started using it again. It's not a huge cup, but yeah, check it out. Check it out. But anyways, oh, what's this? What's this? There was something back here. Let's see what we have back here. Let's see if we can find some more stuff. Distribution of electrons and atoms. To the reader. Oh, this is cool. What's this? Mere publishers would be grateful for your comments on the content, translation, and design of this book. We would also be pleased to receive any other suggestions you may wish to make. Our address, Mere Publishers. That's <laughs> so cool. It reminds me of, uh, you know, when I was a kid, I used to collect comic books, and um, they used to have, um, you know, mail order things, you know, in the older comic books. You know, because as a collector, you buy comic books from like the 60s, you know, the older Spider Man books, you know, if you can get them, you know, and. Yeah, and so these books all have things where like you can buy something and you have to cut out something from the comic book and mail it in, or like send a self-addressed uh, you know postcard with your name and address to X Y Z. You know, so the mail used to be a, a really big way of communicating until the internet. So yeah, this, this book is pretty cool. It's a scattered elements. What's this say? The chemical elements that do not occur as individual minerals or concentrated ores but are found as admixtures to minerals of other elements. They are usually extracted as byproducts during processing of various ores and minerals, fossil coals, salts, phosphorites, etc. Rubidium, thallium, gallium, indium, scandium, and germanium are examples of scattered elements. Hardcore, right? Knowledge. Knowledge. And you know, a lot of times, you know, people are studying things, whether it be chemistry or math, and they feel like it doesn't stick, but you know, that's normal. You know, we're all human. You, you just do the best you can when you're trying to learn. Uh, chemistry is a hard subject. I had a student who um, 
he watches my videos, so if he's watching my videos, he knows I'm, I'm, I'm talking about him. Because <laughs> he's probably like, I don't have that many students that were chemistry majors. He was a chemistry major, and uh, he was really good at math. So yeah, and good at chemistry, obviously. What says hydrochemistry? Yeah, chemistry is a pretty rare major. I had a friend who got a PhD in chemistry, um, but he doesn't use it anymore. So the study of the chemical composition of natural waters and of its variations depending on various chemical, physical, and biological processes. Cool. Heat of formation. It says, the thermal effect of the reaction of the formation of a given substance from the elements in their normal state, measured in joules. Yeah, so half-life. Oh, oh, so that's something. This is something you do in math. OMG, yes, yes, right? So in college algebra, you have this problem um, where I was, I would always uh, put this like, on the test, actually, um, where they have, where like they're given some radioactive substance, and they have to figure out how long it takes to decay to X grams, given that the half life is this, and that you have some initial amount. Um, the time taken for the number of unstable particles to decrease by a factor of two. One of the most stable elementary. Well, sorry. One of the most important characteristics of radioactive isotopes. Unstable elementary particles. Yeah. Right, so if you have like, I'll give you an example of the half-life. So let's say you have like uh, 20 grams of some radioactive chemical. I used to always say mathium, which doesn't exist, but you know, it sounds radioactive, right? And it ends in um. So, you know, you have 20 grams of mathium, and let's say the half-life is a thousand years. So after a thousand years, you should have half of 20 grams, you'll have 10 grams. So that's the half-life, that, that's all that is. So it just gets cut in half, so. Um, my friend who, um, got his PhD in chemistry. I don't know what happened to him. We lost contact. But he, uh, he was really good at mathematics. And so every time I think about chemistry, I think about him because he helped me when I was like learning to write proofs. And he, 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 he really wanted to study math. But um, according to the system in France, he was French, uh, he said that he had to take some tests. And he didn't score high enough on the test. So it didn't really make sense to take the math route. Like it was just easier to do chemistry. And he was good at both. So he chose chemistry. but. He really wanted to do math. Yeah. Pretty interesting, right? Pretty interesting book. Um, I'll, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. And yeah, check out my other YouTube channel, The Internet Sorcerer. I post random stuff there. Um, and also um, subscribe if you want and check out my courses. They're on Udemy, but use my links, mathsorcerer.com. Uh, yeah, use, the, use my links. It helps me, and I've lowered the prices, so should be good. Yeah, it's got a nice smell, but it's a little musty. It is a little bit musty. Again, this was Chemistry, Definitions, Notions, Terminology, Mere Publishers, Moscow. Interesting book. If, if you have any suggestions um, for other like interesting books, uh, it doesn't have to be chemistry, it doesn't have to be math, but like other science or math, math science books uh, that are kind of unique, uh, leave a comment, right? So that's a lot of times, um, a lot of the books I've purchased, like Mere Publishers I found, because I don't know who it was, where several people kept talking about it several years ago, and then I started collecting, right? Just added it to my collection. And so, yeah, I've been collecting them for a few years now. Anyways, keep doing mathematics. <laughs>